name is Chris Fox. I'm curator of collections here at Fort Ticonderoga. One of the interesting parts of the museum's collections is its collections of 18th century engraved powder horns. Now, powder horns were regularly issued to military troops as a means of carrying um, extra gunpowder that could be later rolled into cartridges while on campaign. Often, soldiers, either by themselves or through hiring the talents of another soldier, decorated their horns in various ways, sometimes by uh, having maps carved into them, sometimes floral designs or, or, or very fanciful, almost mythological looking designs. This powder horn is one of the more important pieces in the museum's collection. It was owned by a Connecticut provincial soldier named Daniel Dwight. Now, Daniel Dwight served in the 1758, 1759, and 1760 campaigns during the French and Indian War. His horn is dated October of 1759 and shows some very interesting parts of the fort that you don't see in any other sources. The horn is inscribed with Daniel Dwight's name here, and then below that it says Surgeon of General Lyman's Regiment, Ticonderoga, October 1759. Since he was a surgeon in the regiment, he had added to his horn when it was engraved some sur surgeon's tools, including a scalpel, a saw, uh, forceps of various types, and, and other tools. Also on the horn are other decorations, such as this sort of scalloped border around the base, and on, on the other end as well. Also, it has this interesting little punch bowl with a pair of crossed pipes, some floral decorations, um, and, and other interesting little little leaf designs as well. Now he also had engraved a depiction of a couple of forts, including the small depiction here above the what appears to be a sloop, which is probably Crown Point. But when we rotate the horn, we come to something that's very interesting for our purposes, and that is his depiction of Fort Ticonderoga. Now Daniel Dwight served in the 1759 campaign and was at the siege of Fort Ticonderoga by the British in late July of 1759. He remained behind at Ticonderoga with a number of the provincial regiments to serve as the fort's garrison after the bulk of the army continued north of Crown Point uh, in early August. When this horn was engraved, he chose to have a, a rather detailed depiction of the fort at Ticonderoga engraved on it. In fact, it's so detailed that on the, the, the end of the horn here, he actually had included a key to the various important features. Of particular interest here to us is the fact that in his depiction of the French lines, he also had chose to have included the representations of the three fascine batteries that were constructed by the Royal Artillery in order to bombard the fort. Now, the cannon were placed in the batteries in July of 1759 and included some pretty heavy guns, 12-pounders, 24-pounders, as well as some heavy 10 and 13-inch mortars. But the fact is, the batteries never had to actually fire on the fort because the French evacuated just as the batteries were ready to, to begin firing. After the French evacuated from the fort, General Amherst actually ordered these batteries to be torn down because now they were threatening his fort. In fact, this is the only identified depiction of these batteries that we know of that actually exists. Interestingly enough though, the batteries, even though they were um, ordered to be torn down, never were. They actually still exist on the landscape today. And they appear in some ways to be incorporated with the present day French lines, but Having seen the evidence on this horn and um, looked at the existing features, it's clear that they're still there. So this is a very important horn for the history of Fort Ticonderoga. Um, I think one of the most interesting, visually, visually interesting horns in the collection. Daniel Dwight's powder horn is one of about 80 engraved powder horns that the museum has in its collections. The majority of our powder horns are on display in the museum on an annual basis. Daniel Dwight's horn will be featured this year in a special exhibit opening on the 20th of May titled The Art of War, Ticonderoga as Experienced Through the Eyes of America's Great Artists. The exhibit's going to pull together about 50 of the 
best works of art in the museum's collection, uh, and in a special exhibit that really highlights the really remarkable collection of art that the museum has, including some of its powder horns. We hope that you take the opportunity this summer to come visit the fort and see the exhibit, have a look at Daniel Dwight's horn up close and personal. It's going to be a great season, and we look forward to seeing you. Thank you very much.